Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Head shaving, face shaving, the same video. I'm going to get stuck in because I need to get out the door working today. I've got another three shifts to go. I'm going to be using moonsoaps.com Amaretto Speciale. Now the scent on this. Oh, it's chiller on steroids. It is phenomenal. Such a strong scent, but I don't get any reaction to it whatsoever. It makes a great lather. This is a cream and it's made literally as it says on the front there where my fingers are from the butcher to the barber now Zach who makes these soaps is a qualified butcher has been for many years and he renders his own tallow every single soap and cream that comes out of moon soaps in terms of the shaving stuff is a completely different base so every soap you get is a different base but they all perform very very well now I'm going to be whipping this up in a bowl today for a change. I'm going to use my Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grill. Having watched... Oh, that's terrible. Sorry mate, I can't freaking remember now. I watched the channel a couple of days ago. <laughs> you have. Now hopefully it'll come back to me. But it's just acquired one. I've had this one for a while. And it's one of the best shaving bowls on the market, in my opinion. It's got a lovely ergonomic handle, you can just get a hold of that, no problems at all. Oh, sorry, the brush is my Pasteur's 2017 Envy Shave Brush with a 26mm or 25mm Black Wolf fan knot, which is a beautiful knot. And this handle's stunning, it really is such a unique shape. So, just whipping the lather up in here. I don't know whether I'll complete the lather in here or I'll sort of just load the brush heavy and then finish the lather on my head. But we'll see. So I've just watched, you guys know, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know that I used to watch some channels and now I don't. One of them was I Am CDB. I don't know what it is about the guy, it has got an arrogance about him which sort of annoys me, you know. I'm CDB and you are not, all that, it sort of annoys me that sort of shit. You know what I mean, there's nothing wrong with being him, but you don't have to gloat about it. That's what it feels like, but I did actually, I pulled his channel up last night and I thought, oh, there's a video there. Or this morning, early hours in the morning. And it was basically him talking about high-end shave gear in terms of software. Now, he's basically saying that there's no real discernible difference. He doesn't see much of a difference. It's not a massive gap. And he's sort of right, you know, so for once I agree with him. I think there is a, there is a gap between the, my favourite soaps and the best performing soaps and the other artisans that are out there. But it's very, very small. You know, the gap between sterling and, say, for instance, the grooming department or tallow and steel or even moon soaps there's not a massive difference if really much at all sterling soaps is one of the best performing soaps on the market it has been for years they haven't changed the formula and there's still soaps that are being created now that are struggling to to match the performance from sterling look at look how thick that is i'm just going to stick with it at that at the moment so what's my take on it i personally think there are soaps out there that I'm head and shoulders above everything else. For me personally. But there's not a massive gap between, say, the top 30 soaps and soap makers on the planet. It just comes down to me, what, what it mainly comes down to is scent. I know if I love the scent of it, I know the performance is going to be good. And it's sort of one reason why I don't have any holy cow soaps in the den. Anymore, I've given my last two away to Craig, who makes face fat. And it's not because Holy Cow isn't a good soap, it's an incredible soap. It's one of the best on the planet. But the scents are very sort of similar. They all seem to have a floral thing happening about them. And that's not a bad thing, it just doesn't, they don't really sing to me. I'm not going to put that on my head. 
because <laughs> it's been on the floor. But that was a big blob of soap. Now you probably can't see it on the camera. Well, you might actually, I don't know. I am able to upload in 4K now, which is great. So if you do have a 4K TV or computer monitor or anything, it's coming out at 4K, 60 frames per second now, my videos when I get them on. Once they process that is, it takes a little while for them to process. This is a little bit thick, but I'm going to stick with it because I need to get it done. But that lather is super dense. The razor for today is this. The Gillette Skin Guard 2 Blade Sensitive Skin Razor. Probably the best cartridge razor on the market that is an actual cartridge razor. I think the Leaf Razor rivals it and probably beats it on a face shave, but doesn't come close to it on a head shave for me. And here we go, straight against the grain. That just feels incredible. Now if a company could make something like the Leaf Razor, but like that, they would, they would it'd be the best selling razor on earth, I have no doubt in my mind. But it's certainly a massive challenge. This is another tool that I love on these as well, the little back tool. It's great for getting into those little tight corners. In terms of rinsing, you can see there that the, the razor is pretty chock-a-block full. One shake in the water, crystal clear. And for my money, it's probably the best head shaving razor that I use. Gillette without doubt, in my opinion, have the best blades in the market, whether it be in a cartridge or a double edged blade, razor blade they just have the best blades, there's, there's nothing rivals them in my opinion even in the cartridge world and I haven't used everything yet so I know there'll be people out there that will say oh look try this one, try the Chic try all these different cartridges but I've tried a few and albeit even like the Coles razor which is just a sort of universal Razor made by the same company. It's the same as the Woolworth razor over here. It's a great shaver. It is smooth. It's comfortable. They just don't have that same smoothness that you get from a Gillette blade. It just doesn't happen. Now it may look like there's loads of soap left on my head and it's not shaved very well. I'm just about to have a feel all over. And that's like it's it's a bit unorthodox shaving there. So slick this soap, the scent is off the charts, amazing. I can't remember how much they are on the website. I've been very, very fortunate in my journey on the channel and through wet shaving in general to meet so many nice people and I've had so many things sent to me. Moon Soaps are one of those companies that just keep sending things over because they, albeit my reviews and stuff do help them. I know they do, they help, they help most companies if you say nice things about them. The main thing with me is, even if someone sends me, if it's shit, it's shit, you know? And I've said it in the past, I've said things that have upset people because they think it's the best thing since sliced bread and it doesn't work for me. And whether they send it for me or I buy it, the reviews are the same. It's another thing that IMCDB spoke about in his channel and I, I do believe it, I, I certainly definitely believe it. When you're buying high-end soaps and high-end razors and high-end gear, I do think there is a placebo effect, I do think 
you do buy things and because you've paid a lot of money for them, you, your brain tells you you have to like it, you know, it's, it, it sort of happens with a lot of things. Right, I think, there we go, it's a BBS head shave. Can I get the same result with a DE razor? Yes I can. Does it take me as long? No. Do I generally have less irritation? I certainly have less irritation with a cartridge razor. No doubt about it. In fact, with this razor, I've generally got no irritation. Like, I don't even know if I've shaved my head. It just feels incredible. Lovely post shave feel on that soap as well. Right, I'm just gonna wet my face get stuck straight into the face shave. I'm gonna go back to the bowl. Add a bit of water. I love this knot. Scent on this soap. It's, it's a very strong scented soap. Now, in terms of this and Union, this is at least at least three times as strong as scent. Union's supposed to be a pungent scent, and it's for me, it's not. It's not a bad thing. It smells really nice, but I would have loved a little bit more kick in that scent. But there are people out there that struggle with. with strong scented soaps due to irritation. Now the reason I'm using the cartridge razor today, really, is my skin is crying out for rest. I've been smashing it with a leaf razor against the grain, DE against the grain, and it's just not used to it. So, I'm breaking out the skin guard. Really, just to give it a bit of a rest. And I'm not looking for a BBS shave today, I'm just looking for a damn I'm fine shave, just a good shave. thing I like about the skin guard is it does leave a lot of soap on your skin so this sort of residual slickness thing works beautifully and this is super slick soap anyway and that's really residually slick but it sort of always looks like the razor's not cutting anything because it leaves so much soap behind but that's part of the the reason why it's so good for sensitive skin you know even if you're shaving over and over again the same spots you've always generally got something on the skin to protect you
such a good razor. It really is. I don't know. I know it's a cartridge. I know it's plastic. I know it's not eco-friendly. I know it's not. And yes, it does eat at me. It's not. I don't really want to use them. I don't, honestly. <laughs> it's the God's honest truth. The God's honest truth from a man that's not really religious. Well, it isn't religious. But it's so bloody good. It's so hard. And really, I shouldn't use it. I know I shouldn't. I just can't do a shave like that. Oh, the slickness is just incredible. Definitely one of the best artisans out there, really, for my money. I love his labels. You get loads of, I mean, that's six inches of cream. The scents are lovely. Now they also do hand soaps, moisturisers, they obviously do an aftershave balm now and Zach also turns some shaving brushes which are really nice brushes. And that'll do it. I'm not going to mess about anymore. I don't even know if I gave my skin a rest there to be honest, but it felt very smooth, very comfortable. I don't have any real feeling of irritation at all. But overall, that's a wonderful shave. I've got no weepers, no cuts, no nothing. The post shave feel from Moon Soap's pre man soap. It's really, really nice. It is excellent. Cracking produce inside it in terms of the, all the oils and stuff that they use. They're a really nice company to deal with as well as that and Melody. They're lovely people. And I'm sure if you ever had any issues or any questions, just flip them a message and they will get back to you very, very quickly. No doubt in my mind. have a check so as you can see the knot looks nice and uniform so it's ready for the towel just dry off the handle get all the soap out of all the grooves and then give it a good flick on the towel and that's the knot done right I'm just gonna rinse the bowl out and just see how much soap's left over because I don't think there'll be too much soap in here because it's a soft cream Ah, there's a little bit, but not much. I'm just going to rinse out the bowl and get it cleaned out. Very, very slick soap. Once you've actually got it in there, the cream, into the bowl, you've got to really give it a good press just to get that last little bit out. Because the slickness just stays and stays and stays. It doesn't go away. There we go. Just pop the handle out, as you can see. The handle comes out into two pieces, like so. 
Just going to give the handle a good try. Now people have had issues with this bowl before, with it leaking through the seal, because it is two pieces held together with a rubber seal. Thankfully I haven't had that issue. So you can pop it in, the, well actually, you get the bottom of the bowl and pop it through the bottom. It's perfect for travelling. So it sits in there like that. I mean, it's generally sort of on display. Just pop it back out, as you can see. <laughs> the steel on mine is very, very tight. Pop it in that way, and it's done. So, the cream for today was Amaretto Speciale, which is a beautiful almond scented soap. It's pretty much identical to Cella, but way better in terms of scent strength. The cream itself was far superior to Cella, like far superior. The post shave is incredible. I'm not even going to put a moisturiser on today because I don't need it. Don't need it all. Very, very close. The bowl and brush was my Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grail and my Pastures Envy Shave 2017 brush. 2017. Three years I've had this channel running now, it blows my mind. The razor is pretty much the best cartridge razor on the market, in my opinion. Of course, it's not going to work for everyone. Some people might find it just far too mild, but it gives me a close enough shave without any irritation, any, any stress on my skin. My skin feels lovely and soft. I don't feel like I've got any pain anyway at all, other than little bits here and there from the over shaving probably of the last four or five days. And that's me done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that. I got rambling on a little bit earlier. I don't know whether I finished off half of the stories I started or finished off anything to be honest. But yeah, buy what you want, use what you want. If you enjoy it, then you enjoy it. If, even if it's placebo effect, it doesn't really matter if you enjoy it personally, and I'm the same. There's things I've probably got that I see are amazing for me, and they're probably not that great for someone else, but it's the subjective nature of shaving. And I do think there is a difference between some soaps and other soaps in terms of the level of them and how well they work and the ingredients in them. Some soaps are all organic, so you're going to pay more for it because it's organic produce. It's just the way the world is. You know, you buy organic fruit and veg, it's going to be more expensive than standard fruit and veg, which isn't organic. So. With regards to that, there are going to be more expensive things, tallow and steel being one of them. But other than that, beautiful shave, really close, BBS head shave, close face shave. Looking forward to work. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.